All right, what's up, folks? Wednesday, July 10th, and I've got a setup for you here in the Dow. Now, the one problem potentially here for the Dow, this has not been leadership. We've got the S&Ps and the QQQ, both at a brand new all-time high. Very strong, also very overbought. The market's been very much uh, a one-trick pony. We've got 5, 10, maybe 12 names, keeping the entire ship afloat. It's not a situation where energy and industrials and the banks and healthcare, etc., they're all participating. It's big tech, big semis, a little XLC, a little XLY, and that's about it. For the S&Ps here, if we look at the daily squeeze that we had back here in June, we got the white dot, and the white dot means that the trend, the structure, momentum, all the uh, criteria on the checklist points towards a pretty good chance the squeeze breaks to the upside. Right, so that got the party going for the S&Ps. And the white dot squeeze on the weekly for the QQQ, that got the party going here for Big Tech. Big, big push higher. In the short term, we're, by most standards, pretty overbought. But at the same time, I've got no sell signals. Might be time for a pullback, might be time for a little sideways trade. Or they might keep the push going. But back to the Dow Jones here. If we get a little rotation, and again, if not rotation, just improvement in the breadth, I think the Dow here might be shaping up for a move back towards 400. And keep in mind, tomorrow we've got the jobless claims, we've got the CPI report. Couple things coming up in the next few days that might kill the idea. But for the Dow, we have the squeeze and the white dot on the two-day time frame. Squeeze and the white dot here on the daily. We've got it on the 4-hour, and we've got it here on the 2-hour. As always, subject to change, but we've got four different time frames with good momentum, good structure, good trend, a buy signal, and compression from the squeeze. If the 2-hour squeeze fires long, you get a little move going. At that point, they might fire the 4-hour squeeze. 4-hour squeeze can lead to a bigger move. From there, they can fire the daily. From there, they can fire that 2-day squeeze. Should they really get a move going here? I think the Dow sees 400 plus. Again, it's not big tech, it's not big semis. It's not what's been working as of late. But I do think with the S&Ps and the Qs, just a wee bit overbought here in the short term. Any shuffling into a different spot might benefit the Dow here. And you've got yourself a quadruple white dot squeeze. But all right, folks, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Adios. What's up, traders? This is Taylor from Simpler Trading. I wanted to thank you for watching our video, and if you liked the video, go on ahead and comment down below, hit that like button, and make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get a notification anytime we upload our next video. And of course, if you want to watch us trade live in real time with our own money, check us out at simplertrading.com. Until then, trade safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.